Yo guys, welcome to some more reaction videos. Today we're going to react to a video from Jada Animation and it's called The Game Nintendo Want You to Forget. Now, as always, before the video starts, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and already, plus turn on the notification button for more future videos. Also guys, I'd be very, very pleased if you can recommend me some more videos or channels you want me to react to, please put that in the comments. I really appreciate that and it really helped me and help this channel. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Everyone knows about the classic household name, Dance Dance Revolution. It's the one where you go to those arcade places and there's that one Asian guy full comboing the hardest song with 12 player slots and he's been <laughs> wow. the past two hours and he's the coolest person anyone has ever Yeah, seen. I never tried that game. Video <laughs> game genre that sparked an incredibly talented and dedicated fan base. But we're not talking about a game that has any of that. We're talking about the Mario DDR game that came out on the GameCube in 2005 and is the funniest thing Nintendo has ever done. If you didn't know, Nintendo released their own Dance Dance Revolution game to capitalize on the hype but it's actually awful uh for whatever Why? reason they just ripped all the assets and models from their mario party games and mocap mario to very <laughs> so the floss, oh my god please. i hope you're starting to pick up on the vibe of this game uh. i wanted to run the game at the hardest difficulty but i realized to unlock each difficulty you need to complete the entire story mode in its prior difficulty so to unlock hard mode you have to beat the game in normal to unlock very hard you have to beat it all again in hard so we all agree that I played the game three whole times and didn't use a cheat code to get the hardest difficulty. Yeah, you definitely used right? cheat code. <laughs> Alright, great. This game is awesome already. The story starts out with Toad running to Mario's house because someone stole the music keys from Truffle Towers and they need to go get them back. What are well, the why does Mario look so depressed? The, the spheres that hold the power of music and then does not elaborate. They try to head to the tower and not a minute into the game we reach our first story hurdle, huh? which is a river. They say it's flooded, but does not look flooded in the slightest. In fact, that is exactly what I'd expect a completely normal river to look like. Also, why would you put your house here in the first place? Yeah. Especially if you're gonna have problems with crossing rivers. <laughs> so solution. And the solution is to dance. If oh my dance God, to cross? I can predict how this entire game goes all because of this one sentence. Anyways, Toad says if they dance, maybe they can cross the river, but then they just get in a boat and dance. Ah! One step too complicated. They cross the river in a boat and thank the power of magic, get to Truffle Towers, the door is locked, and then are bombed by Waluigi. Ah! Mario gets sent flying and Waluigi monologues about how he is the one that stole the music keys and intends to use them to become the best dancer in the world. What? <laughs> Which, first of all, is full on admission of guilt. <laughs> and also, I don't think you need to stoop to robbery to accomplish that dream. Like at all. Mario lands at the bottom of a really deep pipe, but uses the power of busting it down to get out somehow. I don't know what happened, but he just started. Oh, Mario got some moves! <laughs> Tower, they visit a local shop run by Lakitu. They're shopping, and then the camera pans and reveals that's a big key. <laughs> they ask him about it, and he's just like, Yup, ain't she a beaut? And it's like, Why is it here? Toad asks if they can have it, and he responds, Only if you can do something for me, which is terrifying and ominous. Yeah. He takes him to the back, it's sus. also terrifying and ominous. <laughs> But says, these brat kids are messing with my garden. If you get rid of them, you can have a key. Oh, phew. Okay, he just wants us to beat up children. Okay. So Mario just dances around and smashes them. We get the key, go back to the tower, and walk in on Waluigi just having his own private little dance party. It's a private dance party. He's been dancing around in silence this whole time. He strikes an anime back pose and challenges us to a dance off, which we win because look at Mario go. And now we got the music key. Yay! Just the smallest little punch celebration in the world before. Toad says they're not done with their ah, damn it. <laughs> but apparently there's four in total you mean the game isn't 18 minutes long Toad summons this incredible music what? that I guess he just has and off we go to world 2 where they immediately fly into a tornado get flung away and ruin Toadette's hotel and when I say ruin I mean, turn it into corks. Uh. Toadette is absolutely furious, and I'm just praying for every <laughs> single person who is in the building. But Mario's like, don't worry, dude, I know how to fix it. By dance, 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 dance. Of course. They dance, and the building coils itself. Uh. And how does that make sense? By the way, I saw the thing you guys are looking for fly over in that direction. 
which is like, okay, sure. They head over in that direction, but a whirlpool just spawns out of nowhere. Oh, they sail on. to a nearby island for safety kind of just stand there with creepy blank stares for a bit, then walk into the only building on the island, which is just another shop. This time it's run by Lakitu, but in a pirate hat. And you'll never guess what he's got. What? A ship attachment that lets you sail through whirlpools. How incredibly convenient. So it's a turbo boost. Progressing. Mario and Toad are just looking at the thing, and Lakitu's like, I see you've got your eye on the boogie booster. It lets you sail through whirlpools. Toad's like, oh, neat. Can we have it? Nope, it's not for sale. Then why is it on display? You know what? You got a point. If you beat me in a dance battle, you can have it. I kid you not, that is the exact exchange that happens in the game. The song that plays while battling Lakitu is super intimidating, and I thought I was gonna actually be in danger. But Mario wins the dance off, probably because Lakitu has zero legs. <laughs> for sale and Lakitu definitely did not have to give away and now they can sail through whirlpools and when the game says through they actually mean into because apparently the music oh you're going into the whirlpool not passing through the passing through the whirlpool tell me the player that in the first place i was just thinking the whole time can't you just sail around the whirlpool or something there's like a whole ocean to sail in and you're wanting to sail through this <laughs> but now i look like a fool and frankly, I don't think it's my fault. So they get to the bottom of the whirlpool and find the second music key being guarded by this giant blooper. Oh. And of course, that means we need to dance battle. Since for all these duel songs, you get to see the opponent's screen, I thought it would have been really funny to see the blooper have like eight arrows to hit instead of the <laughs> But whatever, it's just a really creative and fun little idea. I guess they didn't have to be funny, I guess. Also, when I say dance, I mean murder. Huh? Mario danced so hard, the blooper died. On to World 3 they go, which, by the way, this game is going at breakneck pace. Mario does a couple dances, someone dies, and on to the next area, I guess. They land at an amusement park and are immediately gatekept by these camera bros who are like, If you want to get in, you're going to have to dance through us. Toad or you can just hit them with the hammer. They're too stubby to dance. Which means the gatekeeping worked on him. Mario's canonically immune to gatekeeping, so he stepped up to the challenge. And I would like to mention these Hammer Bros' highest combo was 30, which is not good at all. I'm just saying, I would be embarrassed if I tried to gatekeep someone and performed like that. Just saying. Mario and Toad enter the amusement park to see Wario on a roller coaster with a music key. They yell out, follow that roller coaster! Which is like, ah, if only there were rails to indicate where it's going. But then they make probably the worst decision you could when you're trying to catch someone what? on a roller coaster. You got on a roller coaster. <laughs> on the other roller coaster. <laughs> if you're getting on a roller coaster to catch someone already on a well, roller coaster. Yeah. That doesn't work. You should just wait for it to come back. <laughs> That's called a collision. So they make haste again, the chase of a lifetime, and they end up running into a haunted house where Mario needs to dance to fend off the ghosts to avoid being possessed. Is this what you have to do to close Ouija boards people forget to say goodbye to? They make it <laughs> and start the chase again. Also, Wario, I don't think you should be saying this when you're clearly in tackling distance. They corner him at the Ferris wheel. He pulls the, if you can beat me on dance battle, you can have the key thing again. We beat him, and hey, third music key. By the way, Wario has one of the best songs in the game. The two arrive at World 4, where the skybox is very visible, and everything's all snowy and blistery. Toad is about to freeze to death in the funniest thing <laughs> I've ever seen as Mario does. It's really shivering. They make it to the top of the mountain, where they find the last music key lodged in this giant Freezy's head. Toad goes up to him and is like, Hey, sir, can we have that? And gets hard ignored. So he turns to Mario and is like, Did you see that? I was ignored. Mario, kill him. Which the Freezy did not like. Which, being honest, is very reasonable. I would be in the same boat if I gave someone the silent treatment and then I overhear them put a hit on me. Even though Toad is clearly in the wrong, Mario dance fights him anyway. And during the very fun, upbeat song, the Freezy is seen slowly melting as Mario pelts him with fireballs. I mean, because all oh, the sweat the came out already. <laughs> They get the key, and Toad cheers, never once taking the time to self-reflect and realize how unreasonable he just was. And now this beautiful, innocent creature is dead because of it. They fly back to the palace to put the music keys back when Bowser punches Toad in the throat. <gasps> oh, come on! And he's back to his castle. Oh my goodness, there's a secret world. Five secrets in Mario game? Who would have guessed that? <laughs> Mario dances to quite possibly the strangest Mario Bros. song I've ever heard. What? <laughs> 
They infiltrate the castle and grab the keys before Bowser is able to use them. Then Toad's like, you're going down, Bowser. Mario, kill him. And then the most hype dance battle begins. Have you ever seen Bowser do an aerial while Mario is busting it down in front of him? No. Well, there you what? go. This song on our own is crazy hard, too. The premise of this battle is while you're hitting the arrows, you also have to hit these rocket parts. And when you get all three, it builds into this space rocket that flies over and astral squishes Bowser. And I would like to say, for the record, I think it is incredibly impressive he's able to take a giant hammer to the head and immediately jump up and keep dancing like a champ. That's some incredible stamina right there. But the song ends and Bowser collapses. The day is once again saved thanks to Mario and the sociopathic megalomaniac that is Toad. They ask Bowser why he wanted the music keys in the first place, and he's like, I'll be honest, I just wanted to fix my tone deafness. Oh. Guy, he's since become a K-pop star. He's <laughs> a chord within Mario because then he just uses all the keys himself and releases all the music power into the world, and they all act. Oh, like now everyone can dance. Up. <laughs> in the end, and how it's supposed to be used this whole time, which could be cute if it wasn't so stupid, and also invalidates every single organism that's <laughs> to get to this point. Was this a good game? Not even close. Really? It's surprisingly hard. But it's not because the game is hard. I think it's really just because the developers didn't know anything about DDR. If they did, they sure as hell didn't make a game that seemed like it. They don't indicate which arrows are on what beats, which is really important in DDR. Well, okay, technically they do tell you what arrow is on a full beat and which are on half beats, but they switch back and forth between the same colors the whole time. See these two squares? Tell me which one is which when they're flying across the screen and all intertwined with each other. In other words, f you. Enemy arrows are impossible to see because they're not bright and neon, so they blend into the background, which is distracting enough already. For me, the calibration was wrong, so I went into the settings to fix it, and instead of having a way to recalibrate it manually or something, you have to input plus or minus, which is like... <laughs> My sweet spot ended up at plus nine, and I have no idea what that means. I could go on and on, but I think you get the point. Do I hate this game? Nope, I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's all because of the stupid rotoscope dance animations. How could you call this bad? Nintendo will never let this happen again. So I yeah, think probably step won't. up and cherish this game because it's a miracle it exists in the first place. Plus the songs, except that weird one near the end, are actually fire. And I'm dying on that hill proudly. Hello. Okay, so that was the end of the video of J Animations, the game Nintendo wants you to forget. Uh, I would say I never expect Mario to be a dance game. So the game like based on the DDR game, uh, I was surprised that actually Mario has this, but I'm a, a, you know what, I'm actually not surprised because they made some really weird games about it and I'm not surprised they even have to make a dance game. <laughs> but I certainly never heard of it, but I'm surprised they actually did this. <laughs> And I would say some, it's quite good. It's actually, although like the thing is about, for me, for DDR, in the normal arcade, you just feel the dance, all that stuff. Normally that like, you just show the arrows that one, and then maybe you show the scores. And then like, you, you just dance to it, and then you see the score, and then you did good. But the thing is that this game has also a storyline and a dance. And when you do a battle, when they have a battle, I think that's what I believe, they had to focus on the, the symbols to when to hit it. And by the time you look at it, you don't see the full animation of the thing. Although maybe some people do, but for me, like, I was more, I will mainly focus on the, the symbols rather than the whole screen. Because like, in order to like, make sure it's correct or not, or people just ignore it and then yeah, fail or something like that. But still for me, it's like that. Lah. So it's a bit critical for me like that. Lah. So. If I were to play this game, I probably won't play it because like because of my crit. So I want to have a game where I can actually see the whole thing. This one really isn't taken from me like, because I have to focus on the symbol, not on the whole game. Then if I focus on the whole game, I will have no time to like, go back, go forward, but, but because I want to see the animation, the dance. I actually like the dance and I like the music. But the thing is, I had to focus on the symbol. So. I mean, I like the game, but just like, I won't play it. I just won't. That is all for today, guys. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, plus the notification button for more future videos. 
Also guys, I'll be very, very pleased if you can recommend me some more videos or channels you want me to react to, please put that in the comments. I will really appreciate that. It really helped me and help this channel. Also guys, go check out Jaden Animation's channel. Links will be in the description. Now, that's all. Hope to see you guys next time. Take care and peace.